what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i did this look courtesy of rare beauty something i'm super excited about so if you are here to watch this then keep on watching this clip it's so bomb so dope i love it i love you for watching let's get into it 2021 let's go what's up you guys so this is my first video in 2021 so how has this year been going for everybody i know tomorrow is the inauguration of joe biden how are you feeling about that are we excited are we scared whatever <laughs> i just felt like i wanted to do a makeup look and i wanted to try out a couple of different routines a couple of different new products that's probably not new to youtube and of course you know what i'm saying just chit chat and post something do a look i just felt like makeup also is like a little form of therapy for me whenever i feel like i um, am just needing a little pick me up there's makeup literally when i do this look and film i am literally just gonna go in the shower and take it all off mask off so first i've already washed my face my face is extremely dry so i decided i never show you guys what i normally moisturize with and so i want to use my i use Olay a lot and i'm gonna use this today how y'all like my little eyelashes okay i know i don't wear lashes but i have lashes okay so whatever i'm just switch stuff up so i'm gonna put on some moisturizer right quick because we can't be dry now y'all know i normally use my um i told you i'm doing some little different things my hair is braided by the way i did some jumbo braids you guys will see at the end once i put it in a little clip of my finished face um this look i'm trying not to be too dramatic i really just want to feature the skin um like the foundation the base um so this should not be too dramatic we're just gonna see what's gonna happen okay because <laughs> so my face is nice and and hydrated but I, instead of using my hydro grip you guys i picked up this uh watermelon glow nice of my dew drops from the glow recipe when i say i've been using it for three days bum okay bum and i also read this is a dual pro a uh, uh, dual product you could also use this as a primer um a top you know like to get a little absolute glow for a makeup no makeup day situation and a serum so i want to use it as my primer and so i'm just going to put a couple of pumps onto my fingertips like watermelon it smells amazing so you guys normally i use my pomade for my brows but today i want to use my brow pencil and this isn't a pencil that i don't see too many people talk about but i really like it it's the revolution pro dark brown pencil um i like a lighter brow this says dark brown but it's not really extremely dark so let me go ahead it has a spoolie at the end i kind of like to bend the spoolie a little bit I just feel like it gave, gives it a little flare. Um, let me see. I'm still looking dry in these eyes, child. Ooh, let's put some moisturizer. In the winter, this winter is kicking my butt, okay? The winter is kicking my butt. So let's just, cause these eyes are dry still. I can't have crusty eyelids, like, no ma'am, no. Okay, much better. Now, let's hit these eyebrows up. Okay, that's it for brows. That is it for brows. I feel like I should add a little bit more of this dew drops because I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm gonna add just a tad bit. So I'm gonna take my corrector. I don't have to, my dark spots are getting a lot better, but I'm gonna use this master cameo 
um, in the shade Apricot to just do a little spot treatment. Looks crazy now. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little concealer that's close to my foundation shade. I'm gonna take a sponge and blend it out. Still looking crazy, I know. <laughs> crazy, but I'm getting ready to lay foundation on top of this hill before. Now you guys, I'm not gonna lie. This is not my first time using this Rare Beauty Foundation. The first time I used it, I don't know. I think that, I don't know what's going on. I, I felt like I was a little orange. But this should be my shade. This is in the shade 440C. So yeah, I still had it in the box. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm shaking her up, okay? I'm gonna apply her on the face. <laughs> I'm gonna apply her on my face, okay? So this is supposed to be lightweight and she is lightweight. I'm just gonna apply directly to the face. Okay. I actually like the way it looks once I blend it out with a brush but should I add a second layer I don't know I think I'm good on what I got on my face I think I'm good I'm just kind of dab it into the skin more okay rare beauty okay I'm going to use some concealer first I'm gonna go with this color that's I use under my um, my eyebrows to conceal. Then I'm going to blend her out with a sponge again. Okay, now that's all good and blended. But now I'm gonna go with the concealer that's a smidge brighter. Okay, in the shade Butterscotch. Mm. That's looking nice and bright. Nice and bright. Actually, let me, let me turn down. Just a tad bit. So y'all yeah, can get really into, you can see a little bit better with what I'm doing. What I'm doing. This might be a little deep, a little dark, a little deep. Good. Now we're going to set. We're going to set. This is some powder. Still using my cashew from Fenty. Let's look it nice and set. Yep. Face is looking great, great, great. But now I want to take another powder. I want to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade medium and set my use that on my nose, my nose area. So I'm take a little bit of that powder, work it off the lid. Y'all see where I just made a mistake and placed some. We're gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna let my nose set just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do something quick on my eyes. Let me 
go with this shade here into my crease. Just gonna buff that all over, really. Next, I'm gonna go in with this chocolate shade with the same brush. And then we're gonna go in on the lid with this shade here. I don't think that's too bad. I just did three shadows, three shadows. I'm gonna dust the bake off. Um, Dust the bake off. Okay, that looks good. Find my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and bronze with my Fenty Beauty Coconati. Now I want to use this Fenty mascara. I wasn't a big fan of it before, but mm, she cute or whatever. She cute or whatever. Okay, while that's drying. So Rare Beauty also came out with a, some blushes, not the liquor blush that y'all saw, these are these whatever stay vulnerable blushes. I'm just opening it up. Just open. I haven't even tried this one yet. And I got the shade nearly neutral because I just felt like that will work for me. I guess a safe shade for me. It's actually she cute though. I mean, she's giving me poly pocket vibes. Okay. Does it have a smell? No. Doesn't have a smell. I'm going to <laughs> seems like well let me warm it up on my oh it even comes with a little mix. oh this is cute oh i actually really like it wow right. wait till i blend her out this rare beauty pocket poly pocket blush that's really like low-key making a lot of points i like a I like blush on my nose I, I really, I was reluctant to get this color. I was like, uh, oh, but I actually really like this color on me. It's the perfect flush of pink. It's perfect. If you have my skin tone, yeah, go cop that. Go cop that. I'm going to bend her out with the butt of my beauty blender. I think that'll be so pretty. Y'all, that's pretty, okay? Selena, your team, y'all did that. I'm actually, dare I say, I'm going to go down my nose. That is so pretty. I'm like going OD on my nose. I love it. Y'all, I think I like this better than the Fenty. Like for real. Sue me. Because baby, it's like she's giving color payoff. She's not going like, ah, oh, I love this. I really like that. Oh, man, yeah, that, that just gave me an idea. Okay, that gave me an idea. So, I'm going to highlight, but I'm going to use a cream highlighter. I'm going to use my Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in the shade Rose Gold. I think that will be nice. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to do a drop there and a drop there. I like this blush, though. Like, I think she low-key snapped with this blush. I know there was a first, another round of blushes that came out first, but I really like this one. I really like that, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my um, my face with my Morphe Continuing Mist Spray. While it's drying down, I am going to do a quick lip. 
I want to use my KKW lip liner in the shade 2.5 Nude. 2.5 Nude. And I'm going to line a kind of on the line. So y'all, I like this blush so much. Y'all know what I'm about to do? I'm getting ready to put this blush on my lips. I want to put a gloss on too, but y'all might to pop this blush on my lips. I just, I just love it. Like, oh, look at that. It looks so pretty on the lips. No, I mean, you did your stuff. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm going to have to roll with Selena on this one. I'm going to have to roll with Selena. But I'm going on top of that, I want to add my Karma Rose from Julius Place. Y'all, I love this gloss on top. Y'all, I love the way that, okay, so this is, okay. Let me, let me get, come out my scarf, my grandma mold. Y'all, big braids for the win, okay? Huge braids. How y'all like it? I got to say, say I was a little nervous about just the foundation because it's not a full coverage foundation it's more so a you know sheer my skin but better but it really is giving me my skin but better and I really dig it like how y'all like it like <laughs> yes yes the blush is I think I really like the foundation, but the blush really snapped for me, for me. So that's like my favorite out of, I mean, like I said, I struggled with foundation because I didn't think, you know, I got blemishes. I don't have perfect skin. Um, I was just thinking like, this is not going to be something for me, but baby, check it out. I think... I think it is worth the hype. It's not as expensive as other foundations that we use. So definitely if you are into this, you know, like skin like foundation, I didn't do too much on the eyes. I really wanted to emphasize and I love the lip combo. I really wanted to emphasize the foundation and I really like it. So y'all, and like I said, if you're my skin tone, you need that blush. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is it? This Polly Pocket Nearly Neutral. You need this, okay, sis? <laughs> it is so cute, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this look. How y'all liking my hair? I just, it's been like this for like two weeks now. And I did it myself. I be doing my own thing. I hope you guys are having a great New Year's. Um, if you're not already, you've been watching this video. This, so this ain't no short video. So if you like, you obviously like me. So go ahead and just run these subscribers up. Let's run it up this year, you know. You know, we're growing together. I'm giving you guys, you know, just some good content. And I'm going to be pumping them out as we go. You guys, I'm super excited about this year. I don't know about y'all. We're about to have a big change tomorrow, this time. I mean, and just this COVID. I mean, everything is just like we're over 2020. 2021, we're here. Subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Get to know me. Um, get more black influencers like myself um, on the map people that look like me you know we we need y'all support so if you like this video you got this far i mean it's the end you got this far go ahead like comment and subscribe and do it